Is it worth the risk to drive along flooded streets? Some Southeast Texans would probably answer no after they found themselves stranded in a flooded car. KFTM's Leslie Rangel has some rainy day advice from those who say prevention is the best strategy. This was the scene across much of Beaumont. The water was up to my front headlights and it went, it's gone down, but at first it was up like that high. Cars, even ours, stranded in high water. It, it's, it's good for our business, but if you don't know how deep it is, don't drive through it. At least a dozen cars have kept Ernest Cruiser with K&K towing busy. He says the end is nowhere near. I hope you get home by 9, 10 o'clock tonight. We've been out since five this morning. This is just one example of what happens when you take the chance. Not all roads in Beaumont are still underwater, but it's best to avoid it to save yourself the headache and the money. Your uh, comprehensive coverage underneath the auto policy is uh, what provides the coverage. This agent says if you were caught without insurance, it's too late. There's a 30 day waiting period if you buy today. You have to purchase special coverage on the auto policy, but it's not just limited to uh, flood, comprehensive pays, flooding, electrical, uh, falling debris, vandalism, theft. But he and everyone agrees it's better to be safe than sorry. Ultimately, it's going to cost somebody money somewhere. Slow down. If you don't know how deep it is, don't go through it. Did you learn a lesson today? Uh, yeah, I should have stayed home. <laughs> In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. And if you have any questions what your insurance covers, you should call your insurance agent.